We all have experienced this irritating speed alarm in our car when we go around 80 to 120 kilometers. But how this car perfectly calculates our speed and gives the beep alarm? The same Newton Tata's calculus is helping the car here. We all know that our car covers particular distance in particular amount of time. At 0 seconds, your car will be at 0 meters. At 10 seconds, in 100 meters. At 20 seconds, in 200 meters. Plot this in a graph. You get a straight line and the slope of this line gives you a speed. But in reality, how do we know the speed of the car? By looking at the speedometer, right? It's sometimes show 70 80 90 and so on which means at that exact second your car will be at that particular speed for example if your car is at 70 km per hour 70 into 5 by 18 so in that exact one second your car had crossed 20 meters but the next second anything can happen you may encounter a dog in the road you will apply the brake its speed reaches to 40 which means your car will cross only 11 meter at the exact next second like this your speed is getting changed according to the time so we call this as your instant speed to know the average speed from this instant speed we need to make the time interval so smaller infinitesimally smaller almost zero but not zero like your girlfriend's anger no matter what you do it's never going to be zero right for the general goodwill of the universe let's take it as zero <laughs> not your girlfriend's anger let's take the time interval approaches to zero at that moment your instant speed becomes your average speed we all know that it's easy for us to find the slope of a straight line to measure the rate of change, right? What if we have a curve? Now, Newton Tata comes to our rescue. Think of it like this. What if you don't know the exact answer? You will at least try to make it approximate, right? Calculus does the same. If we zoom into a curve deeper and deeper, what do we see? Just like zooming a picture until you see the pixels in it, right? So if we zoom into a curve so deeper that even the arc portion will look like a straight line. When it looks straight, we can take the slope, right? That slope gives the instantaneous rate of change, that is, the speed at that very moment. But there's one catch. In this infinitesimally small world, everything is tiny. So instead of taking big changes such as delta x and delta y, we are dealing with micro changes such as dx and dy. And that's how derivatives are born. How does car knows this? It has a sensor in its wheel which calculates how many times it rotates. Multiplied by the circumference of the wheel, we can calculate the distance covered by the car and already we know the instantaneous speed. Using this, the car finds the average speed and gives a beep alarm. Finally, it gets a satisfaction after giving the beep sound by irritating us just like your girlfriend. So the next time you encounter a beep sound in your car or seeing the speedometer, just remember this one thing. It's all because of this concept called calculus.